and I have quite an exciting video for you today. So today is World Emoji Day, International Emoji Day, Emoji Day. So a group of crafty YouTubers have decided to get together to do a little collab kind of thing, but there's loads and loads of people doing it, which is very exciting. All of the videos are in a playlist, I'll pop a link in the eye and also in the description box so you can check out the playlist when you've finished watching this video. They are making all sorts of things, some are crocheting, some are cooking, some are doing polymer clay, there's loads, but I stuck to what I knew best, bead weaving. So I decided to make this really cute square stitch emoji, this is my favourite emoji, I use it all the time. If you don't know how to do square stitch, that is a-okay. In the description box, I have popped a link to a square stitch basics tutorial that talks you through, you guessed it, the basics of square stitch. You can learn how to start off, how to finish, how to increase, how to decrease, and how to do the actual stitch itself. You will need to watch that before you watch this. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new here. I'm trying to get to 50,000 subscribers and I will be doing a celebratory giveaway when I get there. This little guy will be part of the prize. I'm adding him to my prize box straight after I finish filming this. But yes, that's enough waffling from me. Let's just get on with the tutorial, shall we? Usefully for this tutorial, you are only going to need three colors of beads. I'm using size 11 Mayuki Delica beads today. I'm using a size 10 beading needle that's threaded with around, well, this is a meter, but you need nearer a meter and a half. Um, and then I've got a bead stopper on the end, or you can use a stopper bead, whichever works. So I'm starting out by picking up nine yellow beads and sliding them all the way down to my bead stopper. This just stops all the beads coming off the end. And then I'm attaching nine beads directly over that and because I haven't used the bead stopper in a while because I temporarily lost it, um, I'm a bit out of practice and not very good at it. But as always, I'm going to skip ahead so don't forget to pause the video if you're following along until you've attached all nine of those beads. And then as I get closer to the end, I get fed up with it. So I just remove my bead stopper and then attach the last two seed beads. I'm sorry if you do follow this along live, I do have to skip ahead unfortunately, otherwise these tutorials would be about an hour plus long and I don't think anybody wants to sit through over an hour of bead weaving, even if it is me doing the voiceover. So now you're going to sew back through the row below seven of the beads, so it's all of them except for the last two, and pull that thread through then you are going to go back to the very very bottom row and attach five yellow beads um, this is just an easier way of doing it you can start at the very bottom if you want to start with five beads and increase that way but i personally prefer to do it this way once again pause the video till you've attached all five of the beads because i'm gonna shimmy on ahead that's what i do and just attaching the last bead there. And then you are going to sew back through your work following the pattern of the beads until you are at the end of the very top row. It doesn't matter what end you're coming out of, it doesn't have to be the same as uh, the end that you were coming out of before. Whichever is easiest for you. As you can see, I'm coming out of the opposite end I was coming out of before, I think. Or is it the same end? I know it is the same end. Oh, that's okay then. So now you're going to pick up two yellow beads and you are going to increase both on your current row and the row above. And I know that you need to increase by two on the row above, but you increase kind of one row at a time. And this row we need to increase by one, which means the row above only increases by one this time round. Make sense? Now you are going to attach nine black beads. Uh, this is just for the bottom of his cheeky cheeky grin. And once again, don't forget to pause the video if you need to. Um, I do put a little reminder up whenever I'm going to skip ahead. So I will stop, say don't forget to pause the video because that's going to get very repetitive and very annoying for you all. And I'm sure none of you want that. 
So I'm just attaching the last black bead here, which happens to be on the very last bead of the row. Then you notice that we need to increase on this end as well. So pick up two yellow and you're going to increase both on this row and the row below as I demonstrate in the square stitch basics video and if you've not watched that as I said in the intro you are not going to know what on earth I'm doing so I recommend giving that a whirl before giving this a whirl don't want anyone telling me it's too difficult unless they've actually tried it so now you're going to pick up two yellow beads and you are going to increase again but this time you are increasing for both this row and the row above yes so scoot that down, make sure it's nice and flush with the rest of your beadwork. And then you are going to have the fun, fun task of alternating between black and white beads, starting and ending with black beads. Um, for the next 11 beads, this means there are a total of six black beads and five white beads. This is just for his teeth. I just thought it would be easier to do that than, keep, than say, attach one white bead, attach one black bead attach you know that will also get repetitive so once again pause um i just thought it would be easier to just say on mass to alternate between the two um yes please feel free to correct me if i'm wrong i can fix this in future tutorials if you hated it so now you're going to pick up two yellow beads and increase both this row and the row below because we need to increase on both sides not just on one and I should have just sewn that tail thread in because it started to get on my wick <laughs> it just got in my way I was a bit fingers and thumbs with this um, beading tutorial and I'm not quite sure why um, I hadn't had breakfast yet so it could be that but I'm not sure I just I wasn't really very good so now you're going to attach one yellow bead And then you are going to do exactly what you just did, alternating between black and white beads for the next 11 beads. So five white and six black. Um, exactly what you just did, exactly the same, just without the increase at the beginning this time because you didn't need to. You'll do that next time round. Um, and I'm going to skip ahead any moment so be prepared for that. Ta da! Okay, okay. And then finishing off this row, you are going to attach one yellow bead. And you will notice by the diagram that we need to increase. So you're going to pick up two yellow beads. This is the last increase. Um, and you're going to increase both this row and the row above. Was the last increase on this side and then you obviously have to increase on the other side as well so maybe it's not the last increase hmm difficult to see not really i think i've gone a bit insane and then we are going to attach two yellow beads and i kind of make a pig's ear out of it which is why uh, i had to skip ahead because i accidentally went through the wrong bead so professional oh my professionalism excels in a second oh it's excelling now okay I'll talk about this in a second. Then you're going to attach nine black beads and you guessed it, I'm going to skip ahead. So be prepared. So um, you can see that my arms are a bit shaky uh, here in this part of the video and um, for the next few parts of the video. One, my camera battery started to flash that it was on low battery, but I kind of wanted to get to a point where I could finish off my thread. So when I came back, I had a new thread, but then I still had loads of thread left. Turns out that didn't happen. I ran out of time. Also, my arms were aching so much. I was in so much pain just because I was leaning on the edge of the table and it was really uncomfortable. Um, attach two yellow beads. Um, and then I ended up putting like a jumper underneath one of my arms so it w wouldn't like lean so heavily against the edge of the table. And I've got a bruise there now. And if this always happens, pick up two yellow, increase this row and the row below. Um, this always happens with me and filming, so I'm really sorry that for the next few minutes 
I'm really sorry. Um, I go slightly out of focus, but it's because I, I my my focus had gone. So now you are going to attach 15 yellow beads across from one end of his grinning face to the other. And once again, if you're following along, please pause um, because there's, there was no point me uh, showing you this because this is what it looked like. I was mortified when I watched this while editing. So I am truly, truly sorry. Um, these things unfortunately happen sometimes when you have incredibly achy arms and you're trying to get things done in a time limit with bead weaving. See, I move it then and then I move it out again. It's ridiculous. Attach four yellow beads. But the thing is, I am telling you what to do. So as long as you know how to do the stitch, um, you should be fine. It's not too detrimental if you can't see what I'm doing. If you know how to do the stitch, you know. Um, but yeah, I'm really sorry. I'll try to do better next time and charge up my camera before I start filming. So now, once again, you're going to be alternating between black and yellow, um, starting with black. So we're attaching one black bead and then we're attaching one yellow bead. This is what I didn't want to do for the teeth. And so I did it with the black and yellow beads instead. And then we're going to attach another black bead for his happy little face and another yellow bead. And then you guessed it. We're attaching another black bead. This is so predictable. And another yellow bead. And then one more black bead. That bit was surprisingly difficult to type out and make sure that I wrote it all correctly because I forgot which one I just wrote. And then you're going to attach four yellow beads. Um, just so it is symmetrical to the other side. And now my camera is really low on battery. Not right now, but as in when I was filming this video. Like, I'm in panic mode. Although this nail varnish colour is quite delightful, if I dare so say, my, dare say so myself. So this next row you're doing is exactly the same as the row you have just done. Four yellow alternating between black and yellow for mm, seven beads and then four yellow. And this is where my camera battery died and it didn't save some of the footage, which is very useful in that it is exactly the same row. So once again, I will be skipping ahead just for the moment and I will catch up with you in a second. Ta-da! And just attaching that last bead. So then you are going to decrease by one bead. And you do that just by sewing back through your work a bit. Decreasing is much easier than increasing. We are going to start by attaching four yellow beads just like we did before, but we've decreased by one. So you end up in a different place when you've attached the four, if that makes sense. I'm excited about this collab. There's loads of people doing it. That's if they all still do it. I'm filming this on the Friday. So anything could happen in the next two days. But I think quite a few people are participating. It's exciting. Attach one black bead. And then attach three yellow beads. Um, because there's just such a wide range of crafts and people are making so many different things. It's incredible. Cause people are super clever. But obviously I have to do my thing and stand out a little bit by uh, doing bead weaving because nobody is stupid enough to make bead weaving tutorials. <laughs> Attach one black bead. Not saying that it's stupid to make bead weaving tutorials, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that the editing process is very long. Then you're going to attach four yellow beads. Not that I mind it. Usually when I sit down about to start editing a bead weaving tutorial, I'm incredibly intimidated by it. Um, but then by the time I'm halfway through, I'm well underway, especially if I put good music on and sing at the top of my voice, which is what I did today. Um, and then at this point, I just finished off my thread. So now you aren't increasing or decreasing or anything. You are just going to attach 13 yellow beads across above his eyes. And we are done with the black and the white for the time being. Actually, no, forever. We are done with them on this project. 
and once again I will be skipping ahead as I'm sure you all predicted if it's more than four beads I tend to skip ahead and then this is me just attaching the last bead then decrease by one bead because we're rounding off the top of his head now and then you are going to attach 11 yellow beads along this means that you end up decreasing on the other side by one bead as well because this little fella is very symmetrical completely symmetrical some would even say because he is therefore everyone should say he is completely symmetrical I almost said flexible by the way these bead weaving um, products are very flexible I will show you at the end I got a bit ahead of myself I'm too excited um, decrease once again by one bead and then you are going to uh, attach nine black beads no nope. yellow beads nine yellow beads this always happens when I film voiceovers I go a bit uh, crazy I just want to say thank you to everyone who was able to join me for my live stream on Thursday I had so much fun um, and it was nice to hang out with you all and it was weird because I logged on and there were people waiting for me oh I felt quite popular I didn't but it was really lovely thank you so now we are going to decrease by two beads and attach the final five yellow seed beads ba -ba -ba. now by what I just said I should have skipped ahead with this because I said anything over four beads I tend to skip ahead but um, obviously this is the exception to the rule because I just felt like you needed to watch me sew on all five of these beads because apparently that is what I do wonderful now going into the bead directly below the one you're coming out of you're going to go through three of the, the next three beads and then come out of the bead directly above that, which should be the center bead of the top row. Then you're going to pick up five clear size 11 seed beads and you're going to go back through that center bead, the direction that you just went. Um, so you're not going back on yourself, you are following yourself as it were. So back through all of those just to uh, secure the loop and then sew back through your beadwork very carefully um, just to finish off your thread and then trim off any excess and then you can add a jump ring add it to a key ring go wild um, do what you want with it but yes these for those who haven't done square stitch before they're very flexible um, and great fun now you know how to make your very own emoji charm you can use it as a key ring you can use it as a necklace you can use it as a back charm you can do whatever you want with it la la emojis if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up your support means the world to me and why not hit subscribe I post a new craft tutorial every Sunday here in the corner of craft but then I post bonus videos in the week as well on Tuesday we had a get ready with me where I did my makeup and you watched me get ready and then on Thursday I had a live stream on Thursday evening and it was so much fun so be sure to subscribe turn on notifications if you want to do that so you can be sure that you don't miss any of my videos and yes don't forget to check out the description box below I've popped links to where I buy my supplies a list of the supplies that I use also down there are all links to my social media accounts so you can follow me on there if that is something you are interested in. But yes, I think that's everything I have to say for this video. Thank you very much for watching and I shall see you very soon in my next video. Bye! friendship bracelet tutorial for you so it's been a hot minute since my last friendship bracelet tutorial and today I'm going to show you how to make this really cute watermelon friendship bracelet 